tonight. Today I'd like to welcome you on behalf of all at Hershey's to the very first Hershey's YouTube video. The object of this exercise is to show you that cooking is fun and everyone can do it and it's very, very easy and you can get magnificent results. We're going to be giving you something different every day and today's one is a vegetarian cottage pie. Very easy and the object of our exercise today is to make sure that you have ingredients and you can use the ingredients that are in your kitchen. The only thing you may need to buy is a couple of tins of beans and you'll be A for away. We'd like you to enjoy this and enjoy the others which will follow from here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vanessa and I have had a long association with Hershey's over the many years and today I'm going to be showing you something really special which is a vegetarian cottage pie. So we need some cooking oil which we will place into our saucepan and switch it on. Once the oil has heated up slightly, we're going to be adding in the chopped up onion. You can add a little bit of garlic into this recipe if you like. Um, it doesn't have it at this stage because there's quite enough flavorings, but of course if you're a garlic mad fanatic, then this is the way to go, is to add it in now. So we're adding in the onions, just letting them sizzle a little bit and we cook them until they're just transparent. Next we're going to add the celery. It's always important to add the harder vegetables first so that they can soften up before we start adding in the beans. So the celery goes in. And the carrots. Today I've left the carrots in long little strips because just to add a little bit of variety and texture to the recipe. And now we can just saute these together just for a few minutes until they begin to soften. So the next thing we need to add is some green pepper which has been chopped up roughly and for the colour some red pepper you can use yellow pepper as well if you prefer and we just give this a good stir now comes the easy part because we're going to be adding our cans so a can of beans can of red beans and look at just those beautiful colors how they begin to show up in this recipe so it will begin to um, take on the flavor and the coloring of what we are adding. A tin of lentils and a tin of chickpeas. Now we give this a good little stir in our saucepan and lastly we're going to add in the tomatoes, some tomato paste and the seasoning. Next we add in the tin of chopped tomatoes. I prefer to use chopped tomatoes in this dish because it's just easier to use but of course you can use whole tomatoes and chop them up yourself. A great tip is to use a pair of kitchen scissors in the can and snip away in the can while you're doing it and they will be chopped up within seconds. Once the tomatoes are in, we add in a little bit of tomato paste as well just to give it a little bit of an extra tomatoey flavor. Really you can add in as much as or as little as you like. Then a little bit of sugar to counteract the acidity of the tomatoes and a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of nutmeg. So I've got that in there and then a good grind of some chili which will always just give it a little bit of a lift. Some freshly ground black pepper and some salt. We have got some frozen peas here to add which we'll be adding 
right at the end once the tomatoes have cooked down slightly. Cottage pie wouldn't be cottage pie without potatoes. So here we have got some ordinary potatoes which we are going to be boiling with a little bit of salt until they are tender which will take about 20 minutes. If you prefer you may use sweet potatoes instead of ordinary potatoes or you can use a mixture which gives a very very nice flavor. Now that the vegetable mixture has cooked down slightly we can add in the peas. Another very nice vegetable to add which I haven't got today is butternut which you just cut into cubes and add. You could also add in some broccoli spear, uh, little sprouts or even some asparagus and you can see how beautiful and colorful it looks now and this is ready to go into the serving dish. We're going to use a very good oven proof serving dish today which we're going to place the vegetable mixture into and scoop it carefully into the serving dish because allowing some space for the potato topping to go on the top. It's time to check the potatoes. Take a good sharp knife and the knife should go in cleanly and easily and we know that the potatoes are done. Now it's time to drain them and then we can mash them and which we'll be doing in a second. Next we're going to add in the butter into the potatoes that have been drained and the milk. Milk is always best added to the potatoes when it is um, slightly warm because then it will make the potatoes a lot more fluffier. Lastly we're going to add in at this moment some black pepper or white pepper and a little bit of salt. If you've used sweet potatoes you would use exactly the same method and now we're going to mash them by using a little trick here in that we're going to use a little hand beater. And this way it mashes them in next to no time. I find using an electric mixer is a lot easier and quicker than using a good old potato masher. It's just my little quick trick that helps me save time. Lastly, just for a little bit of zhuzh to this dish, we're going to be using some feta cheese which has been cut into neat little blocks and just add that into the potato. You can add in chopped parsley, you can add in some chopped chives, whatever takes your fancy, but that just makes the topping really nice and different and gives a wonderful finish to this vegetable cottage pie. Rough up the top of the potatoes as this will give it a very nice texture so that the grill can actually catch some of the areas of the potato and this will give it instant eye appeal. At the end of the day we eat with our eyes and that's what's important. Now you can either grill this for approximately 8 to 10 minutes until it's golden brown or if you have longer time you can put it into an oven of 180 degrees Celsius for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. The vegetable cottage pie is now ready to come out of the oven so we'll be removing it and garnishing it with some lovely fresh herbs. You could use up some chopped basil leaves, anything that will accompany the flavors of the dish that you have just made. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Golden brown and really mouth-watering. So a little bit of garnish on the top and that just adds a little bit of colour and it's really good enough to eat. And there we have the vegetable cottage pie. The lovely thing about a vegetarian cottage pie is you can use any vegetables that you've got in your kitchen. It doesn't have to be what we've given you. And it can also be used as a vegetable, as an accompaniment to a main meal or as a main meal for vegetarians. 
you never can tell when visitors are going to arrive and they're going to have a vegetarian way of eating and you need to be able to accommodate them whichever way you can. This is just something really good to have as a backup. It freezes well, you can take it out and defrost it in minutes, stick it in the oven and they won't be any the wiser. So it's just something that's really nice to have. If you, when you're going to actually be cooking it, rather make two stick one in the freezer, you'll always be at the ready. I hope you enjoyed as much as we did. Thank you. Thank you.